think the majority of golfers step on the tee and hope. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I think we've got most of them. I think I've got early extensions. I think that was off the bottom. Yeah. You're quite right that there's an early extension. We can be a bit averse to extension because it's been so it's been so publicised. But the thing is, if you're without extension, we ain't going nowhere. The next thing is, oh, I want to stay in flexion. I've got to stay down. Then you see people keeping the backside against the wall and things like that. That's keeping you loaded into your heels, into flexion. That's like absolute kryptonite. I'm just adding to the problem because the body needs to extend. It just needs to do it right. Spring from the toes, pops the pelvis, pops your hips up, and boom! That's it! You're all doing the same thing. It's boring, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to play boring golf. Three six is the lowest I've been. Right. And then sort of he started going the other way. And that's when I sort of started to lose a bit of interest in it. There's good shots in there. Yeah. But it could be a block right, never really a big cut or a massive duck hook. Pull draw, pull, yeah. pull hook. Yeah, obviously seeing the videos I've realised that I'm not using the ground, I use a lot of upper body. So I think for 20 years it's pretty much been an upper body swing. Yeah, and you've had lessons like you're saying, you've had lots of lessons yeah. and stuff. So you probably worked mainly on upper body stuff. Yeah. Kind of where the club is, the wrists, the shoulders, the chest. Oh yeah, the club's got to be in a certain position here and there and, and down here. And you've always focused your attention on this um, this on side, or this side, and from here up. Yeah, I think the majority of golfers step on the tee and hope. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I think we've got most of them. Let's hit a few iron shots. So like a mid iron, something seven or eight iron. <laughs> the others were a bit skinny, that's how they were, they sort of coming out of the bottom of the club. Right. See that was off the bottom. Yeah. What do you feel in that swing there? If anything, I felt as though it was coming that way. I think I've got a bit of an early release on sometimes when they're going right, or early extension, sorry, rather than staying with the shot and going through it. Okay. Yeah, so I felt as though I stayed with that, rather than coming like that, I felt as though I'm... So extension is the key word here, okay, because you're quite right that there's an early extension, but it's not the extension that you're probably thinking about, because we want early extension. Yeah. What we really need as well is late flexion and late lateral flexion for a very then quick extension. So we need to be shifting the low point super low so that we can actually then use the ground. So if we want to use the ground, if you want to actually use some extension, this is going to get thrust up. So it's going to have to go super low, which affords us the opportunity then to use the ground, to then use this lever and time it right. What you've got in your golf swing is you've got, you've got the shift and you've got rotation, but I want to look at extensions and lateral flexions. Missing components, basically, because a sequence means multiple components. With a limited number of components, we've got a limited sequence. And if we're not using those limited number of components particularly well, or one or two of them are, then the sequence is severely affected. So we want lots more components. So it's like people go, oh, you want less moving parts. No, you want more moving parts. Because then if one part's not quite moving right really that well, because we change all the time, you've got so many other parts of the sequence to compensate and adapt. Well, movement is a compensation. So we've got to embrace more variability, more moving parts. But then what happens is you end up with a, the system self, self organizes for stability. So you get efficiency because there's more moving parts to share the load. We can be a bit averse to extension because it's been so, it's been so publicized. But the thing is, if you're without extension, we ain't going nowhere. If I stay like this and I don't extend, I can't, I can't go anywhere. Yeah. I, well, I can, I can kind of do this, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm stuck. If I stay in flexion and rotate, I'm kind of stuck. You need that dynamic movement with it. You need extension, but I also need extension because I need to then load into the floor. It's like if I, do, if I throw a ball without extension, there's still going to be some extension here. I can't, you can't avoid it. If I do this, that's the, and that's me trying to not use any extension, but I'm going to lay flow here from the arm. It's like. That's all I've got. Yeah. I can probably explore it a bit more and develop it, but it's going to be so hard. Whereas as soon as I let the joints move and extend and flex, suddenly it's a, now I can start to actually use the ground, but it's timing it and it's moving into the right place. That's what we're going to look at. You're absolutely on the right train of thought, 
Uh, of course, your experienced player, your attention is in the right place. What we're going to do is take it, take it much further. We're going to go on the balance pads. That's beautiful, that. See, that's and that's not being used in your golf swing, which is, which is criminal, Adrian. <laughs> because that's that's a golden move that not a lot of people uh, tap into really. Go back and forth again and just get that body firing up. That's it. Like you're throwing your body weight up, but you're going up on your toes. That's it. Different feel. Yeah, rather than yeah, because you're gonna have this in your golf swing. This is what we're gonna be doing in your golf swing. Yeah, because I think when I was doing that, I'm then coming away from the the ball. Yeah, you had to to use this. Okay, because you were heavily dominant in that plane motion. But then you see the next thing is, oh, I want to stay in flexion, I've got to stay down. Then you see people keeping the backside against the wall and things like that. That's keeping you loaded into your heels, into flexion. That's like absolute kryptonite. Because now it's like, well, I'm staying more in flexion. I might get some kind of strike, but it's like I'm just adding to the problem because the body needs to extend, it just needs to do it right. Hi, everyone. Hope you're well. We've got a fantastic golf trip coming up. We had a brilliant trip at the Belfry and another amazing trip in Turkey, our first international one. And now we've got another one coming up at the end of January and it's in Abu Dhabi. If you follow the link below, you can get all the information. It's gonna be an amazing time, an amazing location. Obviously fantastic weather. Four days of full intense coaching, the full experience. I hope you can make it, check the details and we look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, before, because I think it was when I felt the rotation, I felt as though I was sliding that way. Yeah. Rather than just turning into it. Yeah. We're going to have things. some extension to this as well and now. What I'd suggest you do is get one of these, a trampette, in the back garden, and train yourself. Because when you go back to the ground after you've been on this, different feeling. You don't need to use big movements. Okay. But I can make a big movement and not get very high, or I could do that. A little bit of flexion and then boom, fire the pressure forward off the toes, use the toe box, and you're getting more height than doing all this. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so it's finding the efficiency, use the spring, just feel the heel and spring off the toe. So you suddenly you're firing your glutes. The ground is gonna act as a springboard for you, it's gonna act as a trampoline. I've got to know how to use it. I can use it inefficiently. Or I can bang. What we're looking at is impulse. We're looking at we've got to get we've got to get force through the body fast, and that force is coming from the ground. You're not an Olympic trampoline, this are you? Because I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> just land really soft in the heels, then pop off the toes, and it's like a really short, sharp bang off the toes. Really, that's it, yeah. And let your hips pop. The spring from the toes pops the pelvis, pops your hips up. So you can let your hips drop a little bit more. Just that's it. Let your pelvis drop, and then boom. That's it. That's it. Yes. You're getting the most out of those moving parts without having to make big movements to get little output. That's it. Brilliant. Now, if we step off that, let's have a couple of swings for me just on the mat. No ball. Just in the air, just a few swings, see how it feels. That feels weird on the ground already. <laughs> yeah, just have a few swings, just, you'll get a few. Back and forth. Yeah, there you go. Back and forth. Yeah, feel the difference? Yeah. How your body wants to respond. Yeah, that feels weird on the ground after that. Yeah. Still feel the same going like that. Just have a few swings now, just play around with it. A few shots, don't matter how you hit it. Just using the ground as a trampoline. I just want you to experience what it's like to use the ground. Slightly different. Nice one. Nice one. Different feel? Yeah. That was a totally different feeling because that felt feels like my old one when mm -hmm. there's no pressure or tension there. No. Low activity, no activity. Whereas no. that, engaged. Yeah. So you're stretching to recoil down. That's awesome. What, what play, Adrian? That's brilliant. So it starts to introduce that elevation change. Yeah, different strike, isn't it? Yeah. Why it's different? More length as well, I think. Mm. Nice, that was totally different. Mm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm into my left side now. Yes. That lower body then worked super good. It was just like it sprang, didn't it? So you spring off your toes, rotate the disc. That's it. Spring off your toes, rotate the disc. Brilliant. Nice one. This lateral flexion, don't necessarily stay in it. What it's doing, imagine you're twisting. That, look at what it's doing to the face. 
Now that means you can release this face, and as you push the ground, as you use these mechanisms, it resists the rotation, and that's what stabilizes your face. Yeah. You could let this club do this. If you just jump off the floor and rotate to your left now, look what it does. It resists that rotation. So the net result is the club just does this. You are gauging, you are regulating that release, that rotation, from the whole system, through the whole sequence. So like the forces you create in there are resulting here. Yeah. Try and get even more tilt. You'll get even more power. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Feel good? Yeah. Very good. You can finish there? Eh? Yeah. You might feel like you're doing this. You don't end up going like that in the golf swing. Because of the rotary action and the forces that you're using to counteract the club, as you fire the sequence, what happens then is the rotary element kicks in and the, the forces you're creating off the toes actually throw you back. So as you're swinging around and you push off your toes, it takes you back into your heels. The club's balancing you out, so you end up like this. The, the feels more, the more pale with less effort and it doesn't, I don't feel off balance. Brilliant. But they're signs of efficiency, so that's brilliant. I was going to say, it looked really obvious after you've just done the trampoline stuff earlier. You finish with so much more balance yeah. immediately. Yeah, well done. Yeah, this awesome. seems far more power in there without the effort. Yeah. Let yourself go up. This is the early stages. We're going up, up, up. Spring. Drop and pop. That's it. That's brilliant. Wow. What do you notice in your movement? What do you feel? What's resonating? I feel this hip is coming coming out more than it did before. Okay. Coming up and out. Mm. From the ground. That's the, once we tap into that, that's the chain. Brilliant, I love it. Well done. That changed your swing direction, that. Yeah. Big time. From left to right. Yeah, and it's better strike. Well. Less rotation this way, more tilt that way. Look at that. Brilliant. Yeah. So you're recognising how you're changing your shot shape, you're changing your face path relationship, i.e. swing direction, angle of attack, face rotation, through the sequencing, through the use of the forces, the recognition of how you're moving your body through space, i.e. the form. So it's the form of your body that creates the shot shape. And your form changes. You're recognising how it's adapting at any moment in time, you can feel what the shot shape is. You'll feel when you come out of that shot shape, when you're in a place where now it's compromised. Because you're able to differentiate between fades and draws. You can't go wrong with any of these exercises because they're all working on the same thing. Just from a different, slightly different angle. We can let this face rotate more. You've had to increase the tensioning through the wrists and forearms to keep some kind of stable face. But what's stabilising the face now are your feet. So you can let the wrist, you can let it go, you can let it free wheel. Yes. Awesome. Play around with the timing of your, of your drop now. Yes. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I felt good, that one. It looked very good. Does it, feel, it must feel quite different, this. Yeah, because I could feel the pressure coming out of there, so it's just bringing this through then. Yeah. And that's giving, you, that's giving you license to go down and push you're going to get back up. What this is now, this is purpose for your practice. Yeah. Oh, that's a sharp. I love the shape on it. It's like it's pretty consistent. Same face to path every time, isn't it? So you're letting the sequence take effect all the way through. Brilliant. I mean, that's fantastic, Adrian. That. You get, you're getting every bit out of every joint yeah. and everything's contributing, you, you're letting energy flow. Yeah, because I think it's very much that as against that fluid motion. Yeah, that you've been wanting. Yeah. And it's how you conceptualise it through your thinking. Yes, well done. Remember, even though if I feel like this is happening, you've got this taking place which stabilises it. Yeah, and I think that obviously that holding it off comes from 20 years of not using the ground. Yeah, it's a weird feeling just to throw it and let it go. Yeah. 
it is a leap of faith you have to take. And then once you see the result, it's like, yeah, you join the dots naturally, like that, and you just realise that actually, that is beautiful. Wow. You're all doing the same thing. Boring, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with my game, it's too exciting. It's, yeah. it's not so boring when you're counting up your cash in the bar no. afterwards, is it? My golf's too adventurous. You know, it's it's too, too stressful when too, you don't know yeah. where it's going. Exactly. You go for a bit is. of... Um, Exciting but stressful. Yeah, you go for relaxation after a hard week's work <laughs> and you go out and you come, you come back beat up, don't you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. That's crunched. Better compression, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a carbon copy. I've never felt so safe standing here. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even wearing his shin pads today. <laughs> Oh, that's the best one. Yeah, it just feels so much different. Oh, Fantastic. It is like a machine, this. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. That's lovely. Lovely little draw. It's a predictable flight. Even the ones that were pushed were not miles. And miles. There's, uh, I don't think I've hit one cut in there. I mean, it's such a different consistency of strike, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Um, do you want to move on to a different club? Yeah, can do, yeah. Uh, anything you want, really. Um, what gives you the most trouble? Well, obviously driver's one, but let's go driver. Everybody wants to crunch a driver. <laughs> I love it how it's obviously driver. Yeah. Obviously <laughs> driver. Well, obviously driver.